Ahoy, this is Zdenka. Even though it's late November and the temperature is going a little bit down, it is sunny and warm, wanting me to film outdoors again. So today is another tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to film cinematic B-roll with DJI OM5 and my smartphone, which is iPhone 13 Pro, but you can do that with any smartphone. We will go through some basic moves as well as advanced moves. I'm gonna try to incorporate some features such as hyperlapse and I'm gonna show you some tricks in editing. And for the new faces, welcome. My name is Zdenka Karola. This channel is all about photography and video, creative camera challenges, tech reviews, and hidden giveaways. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Before we start an actual filming, just a quick note for beginners. Gimbal will help you stabilize video to a certain degree, but it is important that you do the most work by not doing this hard walk, but rather going deep into your knees and walk softly like a ninja, maintaining the same level. And the same goes for low ground movements. Don't make large steps. You can try tiny little steps or even better, stay in one spot, moving your whole body instead. All right, it's time to film. Let's change this calm place into cinematic B-roll with energy and movement. All is filmed in DJI MIMO in 60 frames per second, automatic mode. Close-up shots against the sun are first. Gimbal is set to follow mode. It's easier for me to do this shot because I can tilt the gimbal and I'm just waiting until the sun is literally hitting. The branch, I don't have to do much, just moving tiny bit left and right, left and right. And this is the final clip, slowed down 40% in the post. Spin shot, gimbal mode is going to help master the next move of this little bird on a tree. I have changed the settings in the DJI MIMO to fast movements of motors. As I am moving around the tree, I am pressing joystick to the side to spin the smartphone. Next shot is going to be used as a transition from the tree to hyperlapse. My gimbal is in all follow mode and focus is locked on tree. In hyperlapse, you can choose speed. I chose five times faster as I want to be able to use speed ramp and blur effect during the edit of final cinematic B-roll. I got very lucky to see this kind of a movement today and such a big waves. That usually doesn't happen too often, so I'll take advantage of it. Following three shots were filmed in slow motion. The outcome, you will shortly see, will be slowed down 40%. However, in the final cinematic B-roll, some of the clips will be slowed down 10%. Gimbal mode is set to tilt follow mode. And during filming these shots, you want to make simple slow moves and take few shots to ensure you end up with the best water movement possible.
location shots will be edited in post to reach DynaZoom effect. I'm not using DynaZoom effect in DJI Mimo because it is simply not looking that great and I cannot use ultra wide angle lens. Very simply, I'll just film those clips in tilt lock mode walking forward. Close-up shots follow. I am making sure to choose objects with similar color, always shooting against the sun. I'm using standard lens on iPhone 13 Pro. With these grass movement, you want to use tilt lock mode and make sure you frame the shot so you see a bit of tips of the grass. More scenic views follow, again, those will be edited in a post to reach DynaZoom effect. The clips are shown in real speed. And finally, last close-up shot, the focus is not locked, allowing the camera to change the focus on its own as I am backing up. I think that at this point we have enough of the clips, so let's go to the studio, edit it, add some music, sound effects, and let's look at the final cinematic b-roll. Before I play the final video, let's go to Adobe Premiere Pro to take a look at the edit. Here are your clips, here is the music and below sound effects such as birds and waves. I added a few things to the timeline. The close-up shot here was missing something, so I added dust particles clip from Storyblocks over and I used blending option screen. Because it is such a light colored video, I chose dip to white for transitions. And as I mentioned before, Hyperlapse has speed ramp edit and directional blur. First part is slower and the second is faster. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a detailed tutorial on creating these hyperlapses with blur effect. DynaZoom effect is super simple to create in the post. The beginning of the clip is zoomed in 120% and the end is 100% size. So as you move forward, the clip is zooming out. And now let's finally play the final cinematic B-roll.
thumbs up if you like today's video and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.